Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to take the derivative of another trigonometric ratio, cosecant x. So we define cosecant of x equals 1 over sine x, or it's the inverse of sine x. So let me write this one in a little different uh, form, so it would be easier for us to take the derivative. So instead of 1 over sine of x, I'm going to write it as sine of x to the negative 1. Okay. So we can use the property of exponent here and write uh, this denominator into numerator and change the sine of its exponent. So we brought this into the numerator and change the sine of the exponent. Now we got to take the derivative d over dx of cosecant of x times uh, equals d over dx of uh, sine of x to the negative 1. Okay. Now uh, we have, um, we can apply the power rule here. So this would become the coefficient and then we subtract 1 from the, the exponent. And uh, let me just write this down. So the derivative of this is going to be negative 1 times sine of x times uh, to the negative 1 minus 1. So I brought this exponent to the front as a multiplier or a coefficient times the this inside function and then we subtracted 1 from the exponent times the derivative of sine of x. Okay, so we apply the chain rule here and the power rule of the derivative. So here we get negative <coughs> 1 times uh, sine of x to the negative 2 times d over dx of sine of x. Okay. Now we know that the derivative of sine of x d over dx of sine of x equals cosine of x. Okay. So we're going to basically go ahead and take the derivative of sine of x which is going to be cosine of x. So we get negative 1 times um, sine times sine of x to the negative 2 times the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Now this is equal to negative 1 and sine of x to the negative 2 I'm going to bring this into the denominator so it's going to be sine of x square times cosine of x. Okay, now I'm going to expand this into sine of x times sine of x, so we get negative 1 times um, 1 over sine of x times sine of x times cosine of x. Okay, now we get negative 1 times cosine of x over sine of x times 1 over sine of x. Okay. Now this ratio we know that it's equal to cotangent of x. So cotangent of x equals cos of x over sine of x and 1 over sine of x equals cosecant of x. Okay, so now we can go ahead and plug these in. So you can write it like negative 1 times cotangent of x times 1 over sine of x. You can leave it like that, which is negative cotangent of x over sine of x. Or you can write it in this form, negative cotangent of x times cosecant of x, okay, because because 1 over sine of x is cosecant, cosecant of x. So this could be your final solution, or this could be your final solution to the derivative of cosecant of x. So hopefully this helps.